Within Keyword Spy, the domain search is a great place to find information about either your own domain or a competitor's domain. Let's begin by searching with a domain. So we've selected the domain radio button and we've inputted our domain. Now we'll need to select our country and I'll leave it selected at United States and we'll click search. Now we'll see that once we do a domain search that Keyword Spy immediately returns us to the overview page. And the overview page is a very helpful page, especially if we want to get a high level view of the domain that we've looked at. Now keep in mind that as we click through the individual tabs, all of the information will relate specifically to the domain that we entered in in our search. We see on the overview page that we have a quick snapshot of the main landing page. The screen we're presented with the chart is the daily ad budget chart. We can see historical data going back to November 2008 on this chart. This can be very helpful for trying to determine the ad strategies of our competitors. We see we have a statistics section where we're given the daily ad budget, the total clicks per day, the average ad position, the average cost per click, the PPC ad copies, the PPC keywords, and the PPC competitors. You'll notice there are little icons that represent the charts. If you click on these icons, you'll notice that in the top section, art will be replaced based on which chart icon you clicked on. Below the statistics section, you'll see we have a PPC overview section, and it will give us some of the keywords that we will expect to find if we looked at a full PPC report. If we click on the view more button, we'll be taken to that report. You'll see over here we have the competitors list. In this case, there are 965 competitors, and we're given the domains of the competitors and the number of keywords. We can click the view more button to see a full report as well in this section. We're shown some sample ad variations for the domain that we entered, and again, we can click view more to see all the ad variations for the competitor or for the domain that we're looking at. We can get a great idea of the, of the organic keywords that the competitor is ranking for. We'll see a sample of them here. We'll see the position. And if we click the view more button, we'll be taken to all the organic keywords of the domain that we searched for. We can see the organic competitors. In this case, there are 557. We are given the domain and we're given the number of keywords that they rank for. And again, by clicking the view more button, we can see all the competitors for the domain we entered. We can see a brief sample of the organic listing variations. We have the headline and the description. And below that, we'll notice that Keyword Spy has broken down the domain into the related categories. In this case, one of the categories is the business, financial services, loans category. So the overview page is a great place to get a nice high level snapshot of the domain. And we can drill down further from within the overview page. We can also begin clicking on these tabs. Let's click on the ads tab. Keyword Spy has now returned to us all of the ads for the domain, in this case, lendingtree.com. So we now see that we have all the ads represented here down the left. We see a nice summary here. We're viewing ads 1 through 25 out of 61,806 ads for the domain that we entered. We can see the headline of the ad, we can see the description line 1 and 2, and we can see the display URL. Keyword Spy also returns to us a nice ROI figure. Now within all of these columns, if we hover over the column header, we see that we have the option to click for more help. And we'll get good definitions of all of these terms. ROI is defined as the number of days seen times the percentage of seen divided by the number of days last seen. And we can get this information simply by clicking the help figure here. So in this case, we have an ROI value of 22. Then we have a flag for an affiliate link. If this had been an affiliate ad, we would have been notified in this column. Next, we can see the keyword that is associated with this ad, in this case, Jackson Mortgage. Then we see the search volume per month. In this case, 90,500 searches per month for the keyword Jackson Mortgage. 
We can then see an overview of the cost per click, in this case $16.18 for this keyword. We can see the position that the ad was last seen in and the average position that the ad was seen in. We can see some historical data, the number of days seen, in this case 22 days out of 22 days. Then we can see the first and last seen date. In this case, it was first seen on the 11th of August and it was last seen on the 1st of September. We can click on this information button to get some additional information about this ad. And we can click on the keyword button to get some additional information about the keywords. So this is the ads tab. Next, we can click on the PPC keywords tab. Again, all of the tabs relate to the, specifically to the domain that we started with. So in this case, we're now looking at the keywords that our domain is bidding on. We again have the ROI column. We have the search volume per month column. We have the cost per click amount. We have a great little metric called prof ads. We have an affiliate ads metric, days seen, and last and first seen. You'll notice that by hovering over these headings, we also have the ability at times to filter based on the data that's found in the individual columns, which can help us greatly when we're trying to sort through the information that Keyword Spy has returned. If we click on the Organic Keywords tab, we're going to be shown the actual keywords, in this case, that our domain, LendingTree.com, ranks for organically. So we can look down through this list and we can find these keywords. We're then shown the position of the organic ranking, the number of total search results for that term, how many searches per month occur for that term, the cost per click value of the term, and the URL that's represented for that term in the organic search listings. So in this case, if we look at this value right here, we see the keyword is refinance we see the position that they hold organically is number one. Let's go ahead and check this in Google. So we've pulled up Google in this case and we see here we have the keyword refinance and sure enough here's the first organic result and it's for our domain LendingTree.com. So this can be very helpful information if we're trying to determine how successful our competitor is with search engine optimization. We can also see which landing pages are most effective for our competitor. Next, we're going to click on the competitors tab within the domain search, and we will see a list of all the competitors of the domain that we've entered. We can see the PPC keywords, the number of keywords that the competitor is bidding on, and then we'll see, as a, this is in a two-column format, we'll see that we have the organic competitors listed for us and the number of organic keywords the competitors rank for. So this gives us a great idea of the level of competition that we're going to have with this domain that we've put in in our domain search. Lastly, we can click on the subdomains tab. By clicking on the subdomains tab, we're going to be shown all the subdomains of the parent domain that we've entered in. So in this case, we can see that the, one of the domains is LendingTree.com. That's the domain we entered in. We can also see that there's a secure.LendingTree.com. And in this case, there are three ads that were showing that were leading to this page. There were three PPC keywords. And there were a total of 1,649 organic listings that pointed to this page. So the subdomains tab can also help you to understand the strategies of your competitors or the domain that you're searching on. The domain search within Keyword Spy is a fantastic place to learn more about the strategies and tactics of your competitors so that you can learn valuable information to help your business succeed.